and mechanical failure and a slippery road are being blamed by the driver of a GV Florida bus that plunged in a ravine in Bontoc Mountain province early last month. 15 people were killed in that accident. The details from this report. The driver and the conductor of GV Florida, which was involved in the February 9 accident at Buntok Mountain Province, killing 15 passengers, attended the public hearing today with the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board. Bus conductor Jeremiah Agnapan admitted that he has no license as a conductor. Agnapan jumped off the bus before falling off the gorge. Bakit ka tumalon, Ihon? Sa takot po, sir, kasi mabilis na yung takbo ng sasakyan, sir. Meanwhile, bus driver Edgar Reynon admitted that he did not go through the necessary training for bus drivers. Reynon reasoned out that as an apprentice, he already drives vehicles with passengers, which LTFRB considers a violation. Reynon added that he tried to stop the bus when a passenger halted at Barangay Bayo, but the brake had already stopped working. Screams from the passengers ensued, pleading to Reynon to let the bus hit the mountain. Ayaw ko naman masaktan yung mga passengers, sir. Kaya inaabot ko dun sa pinakababa na pero pinakamagandang paglagyan. So, Reynon lost total control of the bus when its front right wheel blew up and its left wheel swarmed up on a lump of sand, causing the bus to fall off the gorge. Lawyer for franchising of the GV Florida bus, Alex Versosa, explained their findings and investigation. It's not totally walang preno. Uh, nagkataon lang, based on the explanation of the engineers, uminit na yung pads. So pagka uminit yung pads, hindi na siya na ma-maximize. Uh, this is the picture supported by the findings of uh, the other investigators na naka-engage ang preno, maski nung nahulog na siya. But then again, because of the bill the weight of the bus and the downhill slope. Yan. Ang conclusion nila is hindi na nakayanan nung hindi na nakayanan nung preno. Meanwhile, the partial lifting of the bus company's 45 unit suspension was not granted. So ibig sabihin, uh, hindi mo na namin na uh, makakabiyahe ang lahat ng kanilang mga bus even after the lapse of the 30 day uh, suspension period on March 9. Assistance is given to all of the victims and their families, including medical assistance and a 150,000 peso check for the families of the deceased, although some relatives and survivors reacted on this statement of the Florida bus. Bakit kami nag-speak up? Wala naman kaming ibang intention kundi i-clear lang na hindi totoo yung statement na binitaw na lahat na ng survivors ay na-compensate na. Florida bus is set to submit a position paper to LTFRB on March 10, while the Buntok Municipal Police will represent their investigation on March 7. LTFRB will release its final decision on the case on March 14.